Hi there. My name is Gwen Whitehead. I'm the Dean of Academic Studies at Lamar State College Orange. And during the COVID-19 crisis, I'm also serving as the Director of Learning Technology. My job in that capacity is to help your, your instructors, your teachers, learn how to make a quick move into the online realm, but it's also to help you students out as you make perhaps your first foray into the online world. Um, as you can tell from the scenery around me, I'm working from home and um, in the background as I'm doing this, I can hear one of my cats meowing. Uh, so I, hopefully they are not going to be too much of a distraction to you while we uh, go through this. My purposes today with this little video is to give you just a quick glimpse of what your instructors may be doing with Blackboard. Um, some of your instructors are going to be making great uses of it. Others of them are going to be like you. If you're a first time user of Blackboard, some of them are first time users of Blackboard too. And so they're going to be keeping things pretty simple. In fact, that's been my instruction to them is keep it simple, as simple as they need it to be and as simple as y'all need it to be. All right, I'm going to share my screen with you. I am uh, at the landing page. I've logged into Blackboard after I've put in my credentials, which would be your, your regular username and password that you would use to log into a computer on our campus. And this brings me to my home page for Blackboard or the landing page. And uh, you can see here in the middle of the, the page, these announcements. If your instructors are putting announcements in your classes, they're going to show up here. You see this is a, an announcement I've made for a class. For instance, I, I put the wrong date on that one. It was actually Sunday, March 29th, not Monday. Um, but uh, I was a little bit addled when I made the, <laughs> the presentation, I guess. Uh, and then there's even the sandbox class, which is what we're going to be working in. Some information here about some live Blackboard general information sessions, which you are welcome to come and attend and ask particular questions and specific questions to try to get yourself some help. Uh, but for right now, I want to scroll down here and I want to find the class that we're enrolled in at the moment, and that is the Sandbox Student Orientation class. Uh, this is how it will look when you log into your home page. You see that you've got some announcements here. Um, there's these buttons over here down the side. I'll tell you a little bit about those. First, I want to do a very fast walkthrough of what you find when you look at announcements. Um, here, I put up a little welcome. Welcome to our new way of teaching during the COVID-19 crisis. Um, I tend to use this area a lot for my classes, and I've mentioned this to the faculty, so some of your faculty may be using this as well. It's a way of broadcasting material pretty quickly to the whole class. Whenever I set up a test, there's a button that can be checked that makes an announcement that tells my students that a new test has been posted and I have done that here. It even gives the student a, a link to the test, but I don't want to click on that just yet. I'm going to take you to it in a different fashion. Um, content is, this is, I've always described this as being the classroom to my students. This is just like where you would walk into the classroom and you would meet your teacher on day one, this is where you meet your teacher and meet your class and get your assignments. So I'm going to click on that right now. And for the purposes of this little tutorial, I didn't include tons of material. I just put a little bit in here. Your instructor hopefully has a syllabus and any other information they need you to know uh, provided for you here. Uh, I've attached my syllabus from a, a class from fall of 2013. When you want to look at it, you click on it. My download button is up here so I can download this file and I, it will open it in Word. If you don't have Word on your computer, you do have the ability to download Word and PowerPoint and Excel through Office 365. It is taking its own sweet time downloading. Here it comes. Um, and like everybody's, my internet is running kind of slow. And so here you see the uh, um, my syllabus from fall of 2013 there in my class. So you can open it up and you can get all the information that your instructor needs you to get. All right, so I've looked at my course syllabus. Now I can either click my back button or I can come back to content. And then I'm going to go into unit one. And here 
I've given my students a little bit of information. Click into this folder for information about Unit 1. I've included discussions, quizzes and tests, and assignments. These are the various things that I think your instructors might be most apt to use during the course of the semester. Discussions, uh, they're like a discussion forum or um, if you have ever read Reddit or something like that, it's a setup like that. Here's discussion one. I've got a forum that's created. Uh, typically, your instructor will have created the first thread, uh, but when you want to, you click on create thread. Hello there. Hi, how are you all doing? And then you just come over here and you click submit. And now you see that there's a discussion on your board. And so you can click on, as you come back into this to read other people's discussions, you would just click on the highlighted link and it would take you into those discussions. Quizzes and tests, that's another area you're going to find your instructor using. Um, notice that this test is due on April 30th at 1159. There is a forced completion. Uh, but this test can be saved and resumed later. Most instructors are not going to let you do that. They're going to have it all at one time. If you leave the test, it's going to be in, it will end at that point. Click begin to start your quiz or test and then click cancel to go back. Let me give you this little tip. Don't click begin until you actually take the quiz because if you click it and your instructor is only giving you one opportunity at that quiz, you've just blown your opportunity for it. So here I'm going to go ahead and begin this quiz so you can see what this looks like. I just put one question, multiple choice. Um, instructions should have shown up on the previous page, but don't click start till you're ready to begin. No multiple attempts, force completion. I want you to choose the correct answer. You've got four answers here. We're going to choose correct. It. Okay, click OK to view results. That's not available up there. Here's where your OK button is hidden. It's way down here. So I click on that, and I notice I made 10 out of 10 points on this quiz. So woo, yay me. Doing well so far. Okay, so now when I clicked OK that final time, it brings me back to Unit 1. And here is where if you have a paper or a project or a PowerPoint presentation, that your instructor wants you to submit for a grade, here is the place that they would probably do it. It's the assignment area. Notice how the little icons, this actually looks like a little quiz, like it's got little check boxes where you could choose an answer. This reminds me of a math paper for some reason. I don't know why. But when I click on this, this is what the assignment page looks like. It tells you when it's due how many points are possible, and then here are your instructions. Submit the final draft of your paper to this assignment. Your instructor may give you a lot of instruction in this area, or they may be as chinchy as I am. I tend to have another page of content that has all the information about my assignments, and then on the assignment page it just says submit the final draft. Now, you can write a submission uh, here. I wouldn't advise trying to do that. If you've got to write a paper that's very long, you're going to want to use Word and compose your paper there, save it, and then you want to come and browse your computer. So I'm going to browse my computer, and all I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab this uh, course schedule. I'm going to select Choose, and you notice how it popped in right down here. Uh, whoops, I can only get that much of it done. But it did pop in. It shows that there are files attached. I want to attach it. If I realize, oh, that's not the right file, I can click Do Not Attach, and I can go back and choose another one to put in there. If you have a comment for your teacher, like, hey, I had a lot of fun writing this paper. Gee, I hope I did it right. Whatever, you can add that there, and we will see it when you submit your paper. You'll click Submit. It does its little tell you that you were successful in submitting your paper. And here it will also show your assignment in this box, but your instructor also has the option to click on this and download the, the paper and open it up in Word and take a look at it there. Okay, now I'm starting to say any questions like y'all were right here in front of me, uh, the old teacher in me. 
I want to come back to my home page uh, for just a minute because I want to walk you through some of these things over here. We have a Blackboard help desk that is available to you 24-7. They can answer some questions for you and try to give you a little bit of help. We also have these help files for students. Uh, this takes you out onto the web into a Blackboard area. They have a lot of videos and a lot of text tutorials that can be very helpful. You have a calendar in here. I, I seldom use this. Some of your instructors may use it to put assignments on. Um, I don't use it very often. You have email. When you click on it, you can send email to all in any of these various ways. If you want to just email your instructor, click on all instructor users and you should see that uh, here there's me and Roseanne, we're the instructors. So if you send us an, a message, it would come to just the two of us. It's not going to go out to the rest of your class. If you do want to send a message to your whole class, go to all users and it will populate it with everybody who's enrolled in the class. My grades, this is your, your grade book and you notice that here I have a quiz and a test and a paper. These two things are, are the assignments that I put up. I took this one already and I made 10 points out of 10, so I'm in good shape. My paper, uh, this mark here, it says that it needs grading. As long as your instructor hasn't graded it, you'll have an exclamation point. When they grade it, your grade will show up in this format so that you'll see what it is. And at the end of it all, uh, there will be your total uh, and then weighted total if your instructor makes that available to you. Um, tools, this gives you a little bit of, of information about some of the tools that we have located within Blackboard. Uh, what we're using right now is Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Here's the Blackboard Help for Students. Um, and there are a few things in there. And, and I'm, I'm going out on a limb here to say that because I'm an instructor in Blackboard, I may have more buttons here than what you have when you look, click on tools. And then finally, I want to talk about Upswing. Just to remind you all that we do have this online tutoring available to you. When you click on it from within Blackboard, you don't have to provide your login credentials again. It's got a single sign on and you can go straight to Swing and get some tutoring. And you just log in now. If you need some help in math or history or biology, set up a time to meet with a tutor. You can, over here, you can upload a paper for review. You've got to give the tutors a few days so that they can read your paper and then get back with you. But it is an opportunity for you to get somebody else to read your paper before you turn it in. Now, Upswing is not your only tutoring option. We do still have on-campus tutoring. They are doing most of their tutoring online, however. So you would need to go to our Learning Center's web page um, and look and see how you set up an appointment to talk with a tutor there. I hope this was useful to you. Um, oftentimes when I do these things, I feel like a babble. So uh, I hope that it was useful. Again, you're welcome to email me for any help. Uh, my email again is gwen.whitehead, G-W-E-N dot W-H-I-T-E-H-E-A-D at lsco.edu and uh, send me a question. Try to make your subject line uh, telling so that I don't think that you're sending me some kind of spam or something. Do, do give me a subject, something maybe like Blackboard help uh, or please help me with Blackboard, something of that nature. Um, Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope that you are staying safe and healthy, and we will hopefully all be back on campus in the very near future.